My name is Jamie, and I'm known as the diva for coupons. I have dedicated 100% of what I do, my time, my talent, to couponing. This is my special stockpile shower. In here, I have 450 rolls of toilet paper and 250 rolls of paper towels. No one needs to yell, bring me a roll. We've got you covered. My 11th commandment is thou shalt not pay retail. It's not necessary with the use of coupons. To live by this golden rule, mother of three Jamie Curlew has to keep about a thousand coupon inserts valued at almost $40,000 on hand at all times. Every week when coupons are inserted into the newspapers, there are leftovers that they would just ordinarily dump at the recycling plant instead. They bring it to me. In order to manage these massive stacks of coupons, Jamie had to turn the family's rec room into a coupon room. I've taken over the entire room. It started in the kitchen on a shelf, and then it grew. And I realized in order for our family of five to have everything that we needed, I needed to get more newspapers. And my coupon room is the equivalent of a man cave. It is dedicated 100% to couponing. Her compulsive coupon collecting has allowed her to build a stockpile that includes 60 boxes of cereal, 70 bottles of laundry detergent, 100 containers of cleaning wipes, and 200 soaps. And I've got at least 100 individual rolls here of paper towels. These are always absolutely free. Jamie began her extreme couponing just one year ago when her husband, Philip, the family's primary breadwinner, lost his job. I think I cried for two straight days. It was really hard on me. I was really scared that I couldn't shop the way that I was used to shopping, that I wouldn't be able to go out with my girlfriends again because I wouldn't be able to afford it. Just saying, hey, let's get together. Let's go have a glass of wine. I wouldn't be able to do that. Jamie was determined to maintain the lifestyle she and her family had become accustomed to. I had my aha moment, so to speak, that Coupons were possible, and all I had to do was clip one and give it a try. These days, she spends up to six hours preparing for just one of her four weekly shopping trips. When I plan a shopping trip, it starts on the computer. I evaluate the websites. I print out the sales for that week. I link them up with the sales circulars that have come through my newspaper. I then compile a list, clip the coupons. Everything is ready for my shopping trip, all in one location. For Jamie, leaving any aspect of her shopping to chance is not an option, down to knowing where every item is located at her favorite stores. It's an alphabetical listing of every item that this store carries and the corresponding aisle. I think it's important to be completely done and prepared before you go to the grocery store. My image is very important to me, and I think it's very important when I'm shopping. I don't know if it's the way I look that says she has a lot of money, but if that's the case, that's totally fine because they're none the wiser. Jamie's financial situation may have drastically changed her shopping style, but the image conscious coupon diva will not let it show. Her list of over 1,300 items could cost her nearly $2,000. So with only about 100 to spend, her coupon plan needs to be flawless. We're gonna have a big haul today. I've invited my husband to come along today with me on this extreme shopping trip because I think I'm gonna need his help. Our plan today is to use all of the coupons that I have here in this box. So of this particular item, we're gonna be getting 27. 27? Well, it looks like they only have 17, so we could use 10 more. So if you take this item over to customer service, you can ask him for a rain check. Rain checks are vouchers that extend the sale price on an item. Once you get the rain check, then you can always come back the following week and get the item that you didn't have when you're shopping. With four carts full and Philip heading off to work, Jamie is ready to check out. All right, baby, I'm glad I was able to help you. Thank I have to get you. to work. Okay, Jane, I'm ready. Okay. And rising and rising and rising. I feel a little heart palpitation. With only half of her items scanned. Wow. Jamie realizes she has exceeded her all time high of $1,000 and starts to feel the pressure. Like my stomach hurts. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
almost $1,200. My heart is racing. I've never felt like this at the register before. I've never gotten to an amount this high. What happened? My register locked up, won't let me scan anything. It did. Out. At just over $1,200, the register jams. I can't continue. Because Jamie's purchases have exceeded the limit for a single transaction, the cashier must manually enter enough coupons to bring the total down so the computer will unlock. This allows the rest of the items to be scanned. And after some quick math, Jamie realizes just what her pre-coupon total will be. The total that I noted was over $1,800. Any mistake in her planning could mean that she will have to spend more than the $100 limit she has set for herself. Okay, now I've got to give all of these coupons. Even though my total is still going low, my heart is, is still racing. My goal is to get under $200. That'd be awesome. It's looking like it's possible. We're under 200. This is the last stack of coupons. If we get under $100, that would be amazing. It is going to be very, very close. Oh! <laughs> You're at 103.72. Okay, not bad. 103.72, I think we did awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> wow. I'm totally ecstatic about the purchase that we just made. Four carts full. I have never had, you know, such a successful shopping trip. This has been fabulous. After a grueling two-hour checkout, Jamie walks away with a haul that includes 35 cans of soup, 40 boxes of cereal, 90 packages of cold cuts, 100 cups of yogurt, and 150 condiments that came to a grand total of $1,902.63. With coupons, she paid $103.72, a 94% savings. $100 wouldn't even get me a cart full of groceries. It wouldn't get me enough for a week's worth of dinners, realistically speaking. Now, $100, that's four cartfuls that include fresh produce and dinners and breakfasts. Even if I had all the money in the world, I would never stop the way that I shop now.